it's the Raffles Singapore Sling. So I say the Raffles Singapore Sling because the Raffles Singapore Sling is different to what has just become the Singapore Sling, just to be clear on what the difference is between the two. Singapore Sling is a simple combination of gin, cherry brandy, lemon juice, splash of soda, sometimes a little drop of grenadine, that's kind of it. But the Raffles Singapore Sling is the recipe that was invented by Nyam Tong Boon in 1915 at the Long Bar at Raffles Hotel. This is the legendary drink. It's slightly more complex than a regular Singapore Sling, but uh, I recently actually went to Singapore and I had one of these at the Long Bar. I even brought back a glass, which I'm gonna use for our drink. Here it is, here we go, Raffles. It's slightly touristy, but hey, I'm a cocktail fan as well as somebody that, that uh, goes around the world teaching people how to make them. So, this is our glass and we are going to make the 1915 original recipe. And we're gonna start with our cocktail shaker. So let me get my cocktail shaker. And of course, this is a classic gin cocktail. So we are gonna start with our Worthing gin and we're gonna put in 30 ml of the Worthing gin. So let me just measure that out pretty precisely. There we go. 30 ml of the Worthing gin. Next thing we're gonna put in is some triple sec. Uh, again, uh, just a small amount of this, so about half as much as the gin you put in. So if you put in 30 ml, you're going for 15 here. So let me just bring that up to there, and that's good. Excellent. Now, for anyone who is familiar with this drink and uh, Singapore slings, the key flavour to go with the gin, the two that marry together to create this incredible combination, is in actual fact, and let me get the right bottle, is cherry brandy. So we want to make sure we have the right amount of cherry brandy in there and I'm putting in 20 ml of our cherry brandy. A lot of people think that cherry brandy adds quite a lot of colour, you know, red colour to the drink, but the fact of the matter is, although it is very uh, profound in terms of flavour delivery, it actually doesn't add a lot in terms of colour. By the time we have all the ingredients in there, the colour sort of disappears. So when we are trying to get the red for this drink, we're gonna be adding some other ingredients to lift that color. Now, a couple of things that you are not going to find in your regular Singapore sling. First of all, Benedictine, this is a herbal liqueur, and we just want a small amount. I'm putting about six or seven mils, so I'm actually just doing this by eye. There we go, that's good. Uh, I'm also gonna add some grenadine, the same amount, and that's gonna help us with sweetness, but also with that red color. So again, about five, six, seven mil. Let's just add that as good. Very nice. We're gonna put some bitters in there. This is all part of the original Singapore sling or the Raffles Singapore sling recipe. So a couple of dashes of anger stirrer bitters. Uh, and then we're going to add our juice. Now the juice for a regular Singapore sling is lemon juice, but specifically for the Singapore sling or the Raffles Singapore sling, we want lime. Not too much, but I'm going to put in the juice from half a fresh lime, which I've just cut, and I'm going to squeeze in there, and that works out somewhere between, I guess, about 10 to 15 mil. Again, it depends how big your lime is, but half a lime is absolutely fine. That gives us the citrus that we want, and we put that down there. And then finally, we are going to add a good glug of pineapple juice. In fact, we're going to put in somewhere around about 100 ml of pineapple juice. There we go. Now we have all our ingredients all together. I'm gonna to add some ice, but because this is so high up, I'm not gonna start throwing ice in there. So I'm gonna put the ice in there and then I'm gonna tip everything in together. So let me get a good deal of ice in there. Let's put that into our shaker and give this a good shake. Here we go. We're just bringing all those ingredients together all those wonderful flavours, mixing it and chilling it until we have it just about right. So I'm just going to separate those. I'm going to take a little bit of fresh ice and put that into our glass over here. And then we are going to strain our Raffles Singapore Sling into our Raffles Hotel glass. Here we go. Just bring it up to the top. Keep going. It's looking good. She looks quite delicious. There we go. Let's put my shaker to the side. And then finally, I'm gonna give this a garnish. And there's no real specific garnish for this. Uh, because it's got pineapple juice in it, you could put a nice piece of pineapple. 
Uh, it's not fresh at the time of, of making this video, so I'm not using pineapple. But I'm going to put a cherry and uh, a little bit of lime because it's got lime juice in it, so it kind of makes sense. So all I've done is I've just wrapped the cherry with a little wheel of lime and I'm going to pop that in the top like so. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our Worthing Gin Raffles Singapore Sling.